The idea for the piece um, came to me uh, when I saw f for the first time the concert hall two years ago. When you see this amazing building, uh, I knew exactly what I needed to do. I wanted to combine the sound of the orchestra with the architecture. For me, the best choice was to leave the orchestra on the stage and try to take their sound and move it around the hall, creating a connection between the live instruments and the building. Uh, another aspect of it is also that um, I wanted to connect it with the electricity. Electricity is everywhere where we live in contemporary world. So it was obvious for me that uh, it was a good choice to use the electrical current, the sound of the hum, the sound of the noises that electricity makes, that we usually try to reject uh, and try to use it as a compositional material and uh, in, a, in a structural way. The sound of the electricity is used to, um, as, a, as a foundation for the, uh, for the orchestration and it's very important uh, in terms of the perception of the movement of the sound uh, as well as uh, uh, is transformed via various computer programs uh, into the harmonic language of the composition. Uh, the score itself maybe not is not looking very avant-garde however when you combine it with the electrical current and if you combine it with the, all the transformation that we are making together with Temporale uh, in life I think it's creating a uh, a very interesting uh, combination of, uh, of uh, sound that uh, what's unique about this work is that every, everything is flying around the audience. It's not, uh, not a very static uh, situation when you have the sound of the orchestra coming from the stage, but everything is uh, surrounding the audience. That's one of the things that, um, that uh, makes the electronic music unique that you can take the single sound and move it around the audience. It's very, very important for me in my work when I work with electronics. Um, and uh, in this beautiful hall, uh, it uh, works very well because uh, with the numbers of speakers, 11 speakers that we are using around the hall, you can create a very, very interesting flow of the music. The piece is uh, a quite complex work for all the aspects because here you have a symphony orchestra, a big orchestra, where you have to arrange uh, live electronics on single instrument or on a small group of instruments. So you have to, um, to manage a lot of microphone, you have to manage uh, different quite complex aspects. And uh, in this case, we are using about 50 microphones. And uh, these microphones are routed through the mixer and to the computer using a special matrix that we take with us in uh, Temporeale. And after we have two processing this. We process live and uh, Christoph Wolo with us play the work. Because at the end, the more important aspect that we don't have to uh, forget is the musical aspect. There are several different ways uh, to, to do electronics in this work. Uh, the, first, the first thing is the, a tape. 
there are some prepared tapes that comes into the into the score, uh, and they are also specialized uh, in a, a system of uh, eleven channels. The specialization system is also used for all the uh, electronics transformation. So we have convolutions, we have reverbs, we have uh, granulations, pitch shifting, uh, and all, uh, delays, convolution also, and uh, and all these uh, all these processes are uh, controlled live and changed live by Christoph, following the the, the musical flow of the of the work. Uh, for the specialization, we have two kind of system. I mean, we have a circle around the, the, the audience and we have also a vertical frontal specialization that involves six loudspeakers from the bottom to the top with a special one that is far behind the orchestra. <laughs>